Welcome to a day in my life as a fully remote data scientist working from home. My name is Vivian and I left my previous role in finance around six months ago and now work for a marketing tech company here in Sydney, Australia. I am not a morning person so I don't do anything too fancy. I get ready, make my bed, make a cup of coffee and walk 15 steps over to my bedroom or should I say my office where I check any messages as well as look over my work calendar. Hey everyone, how's it going? I'll give you a quick overview of my work day. So right now it's 9.20 and I've time blocked the next one and a half hours to work on some code for a dashboard that I'm trying to implement. Um, at 11 a.m. I will have my team's daily stand up and after that I need to make a quick phone call to an external contact about Google Analytics as well as have a chat to one of my software engineering colleagues about something else we're trying to implement. And after lunch I'm really hoping to have some focus time where I can start a report I want to put together for my digital marketing stakeholders. And before we get into the rest of my work day, I wanted to share with you some new jewelry pieces that I received from Ana Luisa the other day. So if you haven't heard of them, they are a minimal sustainable jewelry brand based in Brooklyn, New York. And most of their pieces are either 14 karat gold plated on sterling silver or brass. So you know they'll last a really long time. I love their mission towards sustainability and this is actually my third time working with them and some of their jewellery pieces have become staples in my collection. I was originally a bit cautious of gold plating but I can safely say the pieces that I've worn and owned for over a year, the quality has not changed. And every single piece comes in these cute little cotton pouches which are reusable and really handy for when you are travelling and want to pack your jewellery or even just for storage so they don't get all tangled together. Um, when I was younger, I used to wear a lot of silver jewellery, like in high school, Pandora was my go-to. Um, but as I've gotten a bit older, I've tried to move more towards gold pieces, which is why I'm really, really excited to be adding three new gold pieces into my collection. So the first one are these double hoop earrings, which I think are perfect for my second piercing. Um, I also picked out these double link hoopy earrings, uh, more of a statement piece but I might actually gift these to my mom as she recently got her ears pierced. And lastly, I have on this herringbone necklace, which I think looks really expensive and elegant and super great for layering. And Ana Luisa are currently having a massive sale for Valentine's Day where you can buy one and get one 50% off. Um, they offer international shipping. I got my pieces within three days of ordering. So if you were interested, please check out the link down in my description box below to pick up something special for yourself or for your loved ones. Let's get back into my busy work day. My role sits within the product and engineering team the arm of the business that works on our tech platform as well as identifying opportunities in which data can benefit our stakeholders. We've had requests to create a few visualizations in our platform, so I'm now working on a SQL script that pulls in the required data. Given my background is in finance and my new role sits within digital marketing, I've had quite a steep learning curve catching up on marketing domain knowledge, so these little coding tasks have been super beneficial in helping me understand where everything sits. After all, to add value as a data scientist, the first step is to understand the data and what your stakeholders actually care about. I'm now joining my 11am stand-up. This is actually my first role where I've had stand-ups, which are quite common as part of the agile methodology used by a lot of software engineering teams in tech firms. Here we go around in turns explaining what we are working on and if there's any blockers. As my team only has five people, this usually doesn't take any more than 15 minutes. Hello, um, yesterday I finished off a draft version of See ya, bye! Afterwards, I jump straight into a huddle with one of our software engineers to discuss the finer details of a dashboard that we are trying to implement. Here we are chatting about what metrics should be displayed and how to deal with missing values, as well as being very conscious of information overload. As an introvert working in tech, I prefer sending emails than making phone calls, but often email chains take forever, so today I'm just having a chat with an external contact regarding Google Analytics for implementation, and I'm taking notes furiously to make sure that I don't miss any key details. And finally, it's time for lunch. I intermittent fast, so this is my first meal of the day. I've been loving yogurt bowls lately, 
here I'm assembling some Greek yogurt with bananas, chia seeds and a generous sprinkle of mixed nuts. I really enjoy lunch walks in cooler weather, but it's the middle of summer here in Australia, so instead my boyfriend and I watch something light on TV for around 30 minutes while we eat and update each other on our mornings. I've time blocked my entire afternoon to work on a report for my digital marketing stakeholders. As I mentioned earlier, this is a completely new field for me, so working closely with the business and understanding the data is critical for me to add value as a data scientist. I want to report on performance from January, how we are trending, what goals were met, and also identify any opportunities that we could utilize. And so you're not just watching me work for the next three hours, I wanted to share my favorite tips that will help you take your analytics career to the next level. Firstly, I cannot stress the importance of storytelling. Obviously, working in analytics requires technical skills. However, it is equally, if not more important, to be able to communicate your complex ideas effectively and influence the business with your findings. So my suggestion is to always wrap up your analysis with some actionable insights or tie them back to business outcomes. And this is also super helpful when you are seeking that promotion as you can easily justify the value that you have added. Which then leads me to my next point. Before any piece of work, whether it's a dashboard or a model build, always meet with your stakeholders to ensure you understand the business requirements. This will give you clarity on the purpose of your work as well as align on expectations, responsibilities and timelines. And also make sure that you are discussing the progress with your stakeholders regularly. Not only will this keep you on the right path, it will also help increase the visibility of your work. So comment down below if you agree with my tips and let me know what some of your favourite tips are. So it is 6pm and I'm done with work for the week. Yay! I'm actually going to go back to my parents' place with my boyfriend and have dinner with them. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I used to live back at home with my parents. Um, that's where all my original videos were filmed and I moved out into my apartment early last year. It's really convenient because they're like a five minute drive from me, which means I can pop home whenever I want to to catch up with them or have dinner with them. So yeah, we're going to do that today. Maybe play some board games, we'll see. But yeah, I'll see you back at their place. Bye! You can tell that my parents love language is food. Every time we go back, they make an effort to prepare dishes that they know we'll love. This dinner was so good and I made sure to pack some leftovers for dinner the very next day. And after dinner, when it's slightly cooler, I'm taking a walk around the neighborhood to get in my daily exercise and also some fresh air. Back when I used to live at home, this was something that I would do almost every day with my mom. I also stumbled across this when I was playing piano at night. 12 year old me really puts the me of today to shame. And now that I've moved out of home, I've really tried to make an effort to spend quality time with my parents as often as I can. Today we are wrapping up the night with some card games. Lately my family has been really into Big 2. What a relaxing way to welcome the weekend. That's all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed a day in my life and gotten something out of this video. As always, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!